Hi Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your new moon reading for March 2019. Now the new moon is a time of new beginnings, and it's a time of the slate being wiped clean. So it doesn't matter what you have done in the last lunar cycle, this is a new slate, a new beginning. So even if you made every mistake in the book, this is kind of the reset button, all right? So I wanna see how that energy is going to affect you. Now I ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure that you subscribe to my channel. This is the way you let YouTube know you're appreciating the content that I'm putting out and you help my small little channel grow into something big and into something beautiful. And I want to say that I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys are absolutely amazing. Really, you, I'm just shocked. So thank you guys so much for your support, whether you are new or old to this channel. If you would like to purchase a private reading, or donate to my channel, all that information will be in the description box below. So let's see, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, how the new moon of March 2019 will be affecting you. Leo, new moon, March 2019. 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 Show me clearly, show me clearly. Leo, new moon, March 2019. 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 Show me clearly, show me clearly. Okay, fantastic. That's so funny because this was a card that popped out a bit while I was shuffling before. So that's it. That's you. Shining through Leo. Strong, loud, and proud. You're going through a transformation. You're represented by the wands in the minor arcana. You're represented by the strength card in the major arcana. So you're shining through. There's a wish of your soul that's really coming forth during this new moon. Doubts and fears. Okay? You're looking at regrets instead of the love that's right here. And you're feeling caged in, boxed in, trapped at times, okay? This is the darkness before the dawn, right? You have a strong Aquarius energy here. Now, Aquarius is January 20th to February 18th. A wish that you have made around that time can be starting to come true. But it also looks like here that you're really embracing who it is that you are. Actually... Actually, no, you're calling on, well, you are embracing who it is that you are, Leo, but you're also calling on your own personal strength because you have been through a lot. You have been through the ringer. And as much as you want to embrace the kingly energy and say, you know, kind of, no, I haven't, everything's okay, it's fine, I'm moving forward, I got this, you have to acknowledge, well, you don't have to, you do what it is that you want to do. And I mean that with love and respect. You feel overwhelmed at times. And by feeling overwhelmed, not sure how to move forward, not sure if your wishes are going to come true, or if you know, you've know you gotten stuck in a certain point, you're looking at all the regrets, but there's healing beautiful love right behind you that's leading you forward, that's going to be right there for you and with you, with the Five of Cups, to guide you to where it is that you need to be. You're going through a transformation here, and as you're going through this transformation during this new moon, okay, during this time of endless possibilities, you are going to see that this doubt and fear that you have within your own mind, it starts the lesson and you start to see the endless possibilities that await you. Because you are embracing your King of Wands energy, your fire, your passion, your determination. That's how you're moving forward. You're saying, this is who I am, this is what I want, and this is what I desire. The salamander here in alchemy is a sign of transformation. You're also embracing the sun, okay? The healing, fiery energy of the sun is around you. You're knowing that your divinity, okay, you're a child of the universe. Your prosperity, your abundance is what's leading you forward. And you know, just like I always say within, within the Hindu parable, the God's head is hidden within you. And since that God's head is hidden within you, you don't have to look outward for it. Because if you look outward for it, that's where the trouble comes in. Okay, that's where the road gets a little bit mucky and you have doubts and you have fears. And you think, can I do this? Can't I do this? The answer is yes, you can. You can absolutely do the path that you're, you've kind of set up for yourself. You can absolutely walk it. But you're doing so with confidence and with pride. 
there's a situation that is overwhelming for you, turn to those you love. If you don't have people around you who you love, okay, people around you who build you up, then know that the angels are right there behind you, guiding you, holding your hand, being right there with you, kind of having your back. Picture yourself with their wings on either side of you as you walk forward, protecting you like a shield. The star card, setting your wishes out into the universe and God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, hearing them. You're being set free. You're moving forward in that freedom. You're moving forward in that abundance. You're seeing what it is that you desire. I want you to know that yes, this new moon is bringing up a lot of emotions. Emotions are running high. Okay, definitely. And I'm going to just kind of read these cards all together because that's how I'm seeing them. The Eight of Swords, you feel trapped, you feel stuck. Okay? The Ten of Swords, you still are surrounded by that water. And the water is the emotions here of looking at regret, looking at sorrow, looking at betrayals. Right? People have done you wrong. Period. End of story. But you have love right here behind you. It's changing the point of view. Okay? As you change the point of view, you're going to see that you can break the ties that have you stuck. This is breaking a mindset. You feel trapped, okay? But this is the darkness before the dawn. And there's a change that's coming in that's setting you free. Now, with the star card, the story of Branwen is being cast down low from being up high. So you have this king energy because she was a queen, right? And then she was cast down to be a scullery maid, to be a servant, the lowest of the low of the servants. And she sent, uh, she taught this bird how to sing and she sent this message to her brother to please come and save her, rescue her. So you, you have this king energy here. Cast down, feeling as if there's despair around you and really needing to look at what it is that you want and saying to the universe, this is what I desire. And thinking, the universe hasn't heard me. I'm stuck. This is overwhelming. But the universe has heard you. And will, we and will place you once again on your throne. Okay? Doubts and fears here. Feeling overwhelmed, feeling trapped, thinking that no matter which way you turn, you're going to make the wrong decision. You're not. You're not going to make the wrong decision. It's emotions running high during this new moon. Yes, emotions are running high. Yes, a lot of doubts will come up. But you have a loving support around you. Okay, even if it is merely, and I don't say merely lightly because the angels are powerful. Even if it's simply your angels being around you to guide you, to help you, to help lead you forward to where it is that you want to be. Overcoming the emotions of doubt as your wishes are granted, as you go through this transformation, as you go through this change. Because remember, the new moon is a time of change. And it's a time of change that's bringing you the, your wishes, that's setting you free from doubts, from fears, from betrayals that have been keeping you stuck. Now you're saying, this is my time, and it is your time. It is going to take effort, it is going to take time, it is going to take patience. But things are changing. This is the darkness before the dawn. And you're going to see that what you love and those you love are right around you, are right there with you, are supporting you more than you ever would have thought, okay? Keep to your wishes. Don't think that the universe isn't hearing you because again, even if you don't have people around you to build you up and to be right there with you, the universe is right there with you, guiding you forward. You have a choice that you have to make to embrace your wisdom, to embrace your knowledge, or to choose a different path. This is a choice that only you can make with the Two of, car of Swords. Subconsciously, you know this. You're kind of on a pre precipice right now. You're looking at two different ways to go, two different paths to take. This is a time of new beginnings. Don't hold yourself to old chains. Don't bind yourself to old realities, especially ones of pain. Moving forward in your truth, moving forward in your prosperity, and moving forward towards where it is that you want to be is what's going to set you free. All right, Leo, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I know it was a little bit deep. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. Thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. Thank you also for subscribing to my channel. You guys are absolutely amazing. I will be reading for you all very, very, very soon. Bye.